My name is Joshua Rizogo and this is the Internet Watch. Less than 42 hours of Joe Biden dropping out of the presidential election, Kamala Harris is calling out Trump and his true colors. Uh, well, I thought Trump was white though, but ugh, what do I know? <laughs> Kamala Harris, in her capacity as vice president and former prosecutor, addressed her experience in prosecuting various types of offenders. She highlighted her efforts against um, predators who abused women, fraudsters who defrauded cut and consumers and cheaters who broke rules for passing a game. Harris drew a parallel between these offenders and Donald Trump, indicating a familiarity with his type. This statement was made during a campaign event, suggesting a strategic positioning of her legal background against Trump's character as part of her campaign strategy. I'm not going to talk about Harris because there are some things I've been reading online that I've, I'm just going to not put good there. Interesting time to be alive, yeah? <laughs> All the Gen Z watching me now who understand what's going on. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Forgive my loss. <laughs> That's on the lighter note, but comments on this topic were not light. <laughs> Let them together. So I have jumped back to reality saying Trump will be persecuted by November 5th and convicted by a jury of his peers of American voters. <laughs> uh, next, I have what a breath of fresh air will be needed for a long time. Oh, really? So, okay, this, I'm sure this is a Harry supporter after the statement she made during the campaign. Trump is freaking out right now. He's no longer running for re-election. He's running to stay out of prison because you know Harris will lock Trump up. We don't know that yet. You're speculating. Charlie is saying Trump is outclassed and outwitted. When it comes to Kamala Harris, he will never debate her. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not like I'm supporting Trump or I'm supporting Harris. I'm just saying that don't worry. When the time comes and we see it, if it doesn't happen, then we know. Kamala is going to cross Trump. Eh? Okay, in your words, not mine. <laughs> Angie is saying, uh, Angie is saying, didn't she jail thousands of black men for weed for life? A question mark there. <laughs> that was a question mark. Ah, so I'm going to go to the next interesting thing. Of course, if you've been on Twitter, if you've been on IG, you've been seeing our dearly beloved Aliko Dangote, who has been trending for the past few days. And this is just another reason why he has been trending. So Aliko Dangote, a prominent Nigerian businessman, has recently voiced his concern regard, regarding the Nigerian oil and gas sector. He accused some personnel from the Nigerian, <laughs> Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, the NNPC, and oil traders of setting up a blending plant in Malta, where they allegedly import low-quality products with fake certificates. Dangote expressed his readiness to confront these issues head on, despite the challenges. Well, this situation has sparked a wide range of reactions on social media, with many expressing surprise as Dangote has spoken and speculating on the potential implications for Nigerians' business environment. Dangote, they say, Dangote, they say, has become a reporter and a journalist. <laughs> like in the drop podcast on the daily now. <laughs> Reactions from various parts of the country will leave you amazed. I'm going to go to the comment section right now. And first on our comment, I have Adenika. He's saying, I have never heard or seen Dagote talk this much. Something is really wrong. <laughs> like, if you know Dangote, you will know, of course, that this man does not even know how to talk that much. It, it, it's stressful for him. Chief is saying, waiting on a really do Dangote way, just the explain up and down. Because, oh man, this guy has released back to back to back to back. <laughs> they say, the way Dangote, they complain, me do podcast, go so invite him. <laughs> <laughs> like come and express yourself just come come, come and do some 30 minute podcast Dangote has the money to fight federal government but he will not federal government have the power to make life miserable for 48 years of Dangote's life but they will also not my prayer my hope my desire everyone should just think Nigeria first where we are praying that they do honestly we are praying that they do did Dangote record the whole press conference and he's just <laughs> releasing it track by track every day? <laughs> I mean, every day my guy, the entire studio go well. 
<laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> now they were really concerned about you. What's going on? Now they might be fighting for us all indirectly. Let's support him. You know, let's support him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to support him. Am I going to support him? Are you going to support him? I, I don't know. I don't know. But we're praying for you, Dangote. Our prayers and hearts are for you. And lastly, on today's episode, before you travel using any aircraft, you know how to check your, you know how you check your car tires, but how you, you know, check and make sure that everything is there. Biko, Ejo, Dan and La. Check your aeroplane tires. <laughs> Check it. Go close to it before you take off. Hit the leg of the tire. <laughs> Use it to Use it very well. So, the MAX aircraft carrying 119 passengers and six crew members was cleared for takeoff before its first rear gear tires burst. While the remaining two also went the way of the initial one while attempting to taxi off the aircraft from the wrong way. Honestly, scary times. I know you've seen this, but I just had to bring it up. Let me take you to the comment section. Just sharp, 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 sharp before I leave here this morning. <laughs> comment section, please. And on the comment, I have Mr. Chukudi saying, Omo, Nigeria go want you, but no fear, <laughs> no lose guard. <laughs> AKA is saying, the feds should have a board that inspects all these flights before takeoff. The last time was Dana Air crashing during takeoff. Is it, is it until they crash and lose lives before they do the right thing? Like, why? Why is this still happening? On today's episode of Things You Only See in Nigeria, how is this even possible? Not one, but four tires. Where did you guys buy the tire from, Biko? <laughs> uh, Nei is saying, I won't even be surprised if the agency in charge of checking the conditions of the airplanes are already compromised. <laughs> Desmond is saying, which country is this? My brother, is, is your country, is Nigeria. The country that you and I both reside in. The one that has been having bass balls. And lastly, on my comment section, I have who who is gonna jack the plane? You know, when your car tire don't bust and you, you guys jack it, you have to jack it like push it up. <laughs> well, better check the tire out to be sure. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because I care about you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. My name is remains Joshua Ritogo, and today is Tuesday already. But then, but then, come close, come close. Stay jiggy. Ha, ha, ha.